Kilo Four, Tango Lima, Juliet. TLJ, Roger, Roger, and what's the name there? Name is Terry, Tango Echo, Romeo, Romeo, Yankee. Roger, Terry, and whereabouts are you located, sir? I'm in northwest Georgia, a little town called Powder Springs, about 25 miles north of a little town called Powder Springs, about 25 miles northwest of Atlanta. Oh, uh, yes, sir, Terry, and I just went down to the uh, Atlanta SDR, and you're about 20 over on it. It's just a beautiful signal. <laughs> I mean, you you must be living beside this uh, SDR, Roger. <laughs> I mean, you, you must be living beside this uh, SDR, Roger. <laughs> no, I was just uh, w working on my amp. I had some problems with it yesterday, and uh, I uh, assumed it was... Uh, a problem in the uh, dynamic bias circuitry, and I was apparently I was correct. So you say it's sounding good now? Oh yes, it is. Uh, and you were saying you had trouble with your power amp or your radio? Yes, it is. Uh, and you were saying you had trouble with your power amp or your radio? Uh, it's the AL80B. It's an old one, about uh, 25 years old. Roger Terry. And uh, what radio are you running today, sir? Today, sir, I'm running an Icon 7300. Great radio, just a radio of the century. Uh, so, if you'd be interested in, in our setup procedure, uh, it starts with you double checking to be sure you're in that wide uh, 100 to 2900 transmit uh, bandwidth. 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. With 100 to 2900 transmit bandwidth, Roger. I do have that. Alrighty, then uh, to your compressor, on and at a three. Compression on and at a three, Roger. And at a three. Compression on and at a three, Roger. It is on a three. Yes, sir. Okay, now move to your ALC with mic gain in hand. And as you say the magic word, audio, you stretch out the first of that word, uh, and you become a human signal generator. And as you say that word, audio, and you say it, don't stress it, just say it as you would any other word in a QSO. Adjust your mic gain until your ALC meter is running two-thirds. Roger. Gain until your ALC meter is running two-thirds. Roger. Okay, uh, that's where it is now. Okay, so that's, uh, you know, that ALC meter only runs about halfway uh, to the other, other meters, and you're uh, just a little bit over halfway, is that a Roger? Yeah, other meters, and you're uh, just a little bit over halfway, is that a Roger? That's a Roger. Alrighty, uh, so let's go to your tone control, that's in uh, settings. Uh, sideband transmit uh, tone, and I want you to go with plus three clicks, treble EQ boost from where you are. Plus three clicks, treble EQ boost from where you are. Roger. Where you are. Plus three clicks, treble EQ boost from where you are. Roger. Okay, the treble is plus three at the already. All right, so I uh, take it to two more, so you'll be uh, at plus five. Roger. So I uh, take it to two more, so you'll be uh, at plus five. Roger. Okay. And uh, then, Terry, uh, why don't you tell me about uh, 10 or 15 seconds about what you like best about your 7300 so I can listen to you. It's about what you like best about your 7300 so I can listen to you. Okay, love my 7300. I came from uh, old boat anchors. Never had anything more modern than uh, TS-440. And uh, just loving my brand new 7300. Only had it about six months. <laughs> World of difference. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, on your bass, I want you to come up uh, two clicks boost on your bass. I just want to hear that. Plus two clicks uh, from where you are on your bass, Roger. Plus two clicks uh, from where you are on your bass, Roger. Okay, the base boost is now minus one. It's up two from what it was. 
Alrighty, and um, tell me uh, about your antenna there for a little bit, about uh, 10 seconds. I'll tell you, before we do that, I want you to go back to your ALC and double check that ALC level because we have made some changes in the EQ, and when you do that, you need to go back to your ALC to double check your level again, Roger. So that's uh, Mike Gain in hand, audio, and adjust for two thirds. Uh, Mike Gain in hand, audio, and adjust for two thirds. Okay, this is the uh, ALC. Uh... And how'd that look uh, two thirds? Did you uh, have to make some corrections there? Uh... And how'd that look uh, two thirds? Did you uh, have to make some corrections there? Yes, I did. I dropped the mic then very slightly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, so it's looking good there. Uh, I, I'd like to hear you a little bit more. Tell me uh, the best thing you like about amateur radio. Hear you a little bit more. Tell me uh, the best thing you like about amateur radio. Well, I've been, uh, ham radio, I've been out of it for several years. Just got back about six or seven months ago. And uh, loving it. Putting up antennas. Uh, setting up the station completely from scratch. Just, just got up my hex beam. It's only up 20 feet, but it sure beats being on the ground. So I'm getting there. It's taken a lot of time. Yes, sir. Well, you know, Rome wasn't conquered in a day, and it does take a little while, but persistence, that's the thing that pays off. You just be persistent about what you're doing, and over a period of time, you will uh, achieve all things uh, that you want to. I think uh, we have achieved uh, a good sounding station there, Terry, and if you want to hear it, if you go to YouTube, do a call it a search, KC9VKV, followed by the word logbook, that will take you to this recording, and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Recording and I'll have it uploaded by noon tomorrow, Roger. Well, that sounds good. I've really never heard my how I sound on on the air. That'll be great. Thank you. Yes, sir. My pleasure, sir. And uh, let me say 73, Terry. You have a great afternoon, beautiful weekend. If you get a chance to uh, join us next Friday, we'd love to have you. All right, so we've got uh, five minutes to go. Uh, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.